So a little bit of history, like when um, when it all came from, right? So long time ago, like in France, uh, it's it's one of the, it's just a book like History of Quality Assurance. You can find it uh, if you're interested. So they're putting like sawdust or lime in, in the floor to sell. I mean, it actually happens even now, right? They they put some weird stuff to their products just to keep the prices low, right? Just to just to sell you like I don't know, send for the price of gold, right? <laughs> stuff like that. So um, long time ago, it was really hard to kind of control that, right? So they were doing fine, but the problem there then market uh, came, right? So in a when it's on a, with a market relationship, now a customer can decide like what's better for him, what's what gives more benefits, right? So that's like very far uh, from where we are right now, right? But um, in the first decade of computing, there was pretty much no that many uh, like computers or like phones. Right now, these devices are everywhere. It's uh, variety is just incredible we have so many different platforms so many different even within like iphone for example they have like iphone with a qualcomm modem or intel modem we probably don't know about that right we don't care but within the iphone it's actually different hardware and the at that moment it wasn't kind of it wasn't a problem but then in 90s where actually the qa uh, established as we know it right now. It's it's pretty kind of new profession, really. Um, again, market that was uh, one of the one of the biggest uh, because of the, this whole like technical revolution. They started like doing this Windows right, and they started selling the, their products. So software became uh, a product on the market, and because it's on the market now, you have competition, right? And then if you sell something and it's uh, it comes with a bad quality, or if your competitor sells something similar with a better quality, less price, and stuff like that, uh, customer can just switch. So they realized if they want to compete on the market, they have to deliver the good quality products, and really. Uh, that was the the big the most important thing really why like all this QA because before that there was no QA really developers were developing something like testing somehow and it was it was kind of good enough right um, not anymore and then um, the second point here is uh, uh, so, uh, frequent software releases so for example if they release a new version of like iOS and it's buggy. They have to fix it ASAP, right? They don't have time to really wait and see how it goes. They can lose the market fairly fairly quickly. Um, so this is another one to actually be able to adopt to see like how it goes and react ASAP on 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 the market. Again, market is is a is a thing here. And internet now. Remember these uh, last days, like 90s. We were like buying like compact disks and stuff. So to actually get new version of let's say office, you have to go to the store. It can be like out of stock, and then you bring it back, right? And then it's it's a pretty long process. Before that, they have to implement that and print out all the papers and disks and ship them to store. So it's very long process. With internet, boom, you just click a button, download it, right? Like Chrome browser. You don't even download it. You ju it just updates automatically, right? And pretty much like all the software right now, it updates like on a like weekly basis sometimes. I mean, this iOS notifications are so annoying. <laughs> New version <laughs> has come, right? Um, so this is where we are. But what about the future? Uh, continuous delivery is the process. So business say no, like, yeah, it used to be like months. Now it's like weeks. But what we really want, we want to react like within the same day, really. Well, not within the same within the same moment, because if it's let's say some typo on your website, you don't want to wait for your release cycle and like fix that typo. And some typos can be really like weird, right? You don't want to like wait for two weeks to just fix that typo. You really want to like 
deliver pretty much fixing that typo will take like a minute really and then the whole process will take maybe like an hour but that's kind of in the future most of the companies are not there yet but what they work in they want to they want to deliver even faster like on demand really um, and again it's becoming even even worse because now we are uh, standing before like another pretty much revolution in the field like internet of things they want to place all those microchips like in every shoes in every shoe in every socks <laughs> everywhere so it's going to be controlled and it's going to be even more different devices like pretty much right now we have this like doorbells right with the cameras and like stuff like that they working on uh, like spacex here in los angeles right now even spacecraft they launch by software i mean even like human is not required for that anymore right and then the next thing is like cars this whole battle uh, going on right now with the self-driving cars whoever get that first i mean owner of the whole world and they spending billions to to get there as fast as possible and get it to and become monopoly right so it's a lot of work for us which is a good thing 